Hi, this is Kit from NokiaAddict.com. Today I'm going to show you the version 21 firmware on the Nokia 5800 Express Music. It's not all that different from version 20, but there are a few little tweaks, so I thought I'd let all you fellow Nokia addicts have a little look. So, here we go. I'll use the stylus so it makes it a little bit easier to see what's going on on the screen. Okay, first off, something you can see pretty much straight away is the breathing light option. There it goes, look at that. Now that's set in the options, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, yeah, um, so what that does is um, if you've got any missed calls or messages or emails it will flash up twice in quick succession or if the phone hasn't had anything like that then it will just breathe every so often. So if we look if we just go in and check there you go phone is running version 21 one thing worth noting is when you do uh, use the Hong Kong product code and update your phone, especially if you've just come from a Euro 1 product code, is the uh, web browser crashes when you first go into it. I'm not entirely sure why that is. Um, I had to do a full hard reset on the phone to make it work. I think possibly what it could be is the fact that it uses these symbols and possibly I don't know the phone doesn't like them coming from a Euro 1 product code I'm not sure but just bear that in mind whilst the user data preservation works brilliantly and all your contacts messages music etc is all saved and the phones as it was but just with the new firmware the web browser doesn't work applications has now become apps not sure why, much the same a music player has become music player for whatever reason. It could well be because I'm using a Hong Kong product code and they might shorten the abbreviations, I'm not entirely sure. Um, let's go into music player. Now the first thing I have noticed, which is good to see, is they're now using the big cover art, which is good. Um, Previously, they were using the smaller cover art, which looked crap, to be completely honest. So, if we put a bit of Kaiser Chiefs on, hopefully, you'll see that it's nice, big, shiny artwork instead of a tiny little square of it. Um, music playback-wise, I don't think it's changed all that much. Still very loud still shit through um, Bluetooth headset unfortunately um, yeah not much else to see on that if we go into the settings you can see the new settings options which is impersonal no it's not <laughs> it's in phone and notification lights and so you've got standby BR light, which I assume is standby breathing light, and you can turn that off or on. And the notification light, which as I say does a double flash um, when there's anything to tell you about, um, you can make it, you can change the amount of time that it blinks for. So it will blink for 5 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, or no limit. Um, and the events that it notifies you of. As standard the default is missed call, new message or new email. Right. If we go into the internet, you'll see that things really haven't changed all that much at all. There's still no kinetic scrolling. It's just not very good. It's not like the N97 browser, which is a real shame, but hopefully, fingers crossed, that will change. Um, 
also something that is fixed. If we go and type a message. One annoying bug that there was is you'll notice that predictive text was on is on and if you go into the full screen cursor keyboard and type something we go back and put it back on the alphanumeric it is still in predictive text which it didn't do in the older firmware so that's good also something we'll notice is if you want to insert a symbol this takes up the full screen now in the older firmware you've got a little box with about 12 different options so that is good makes it a lot easier especially when you're using your big fat fingers to pick things out so well done for Nokia on that aside from that there's not really much else to see I mean the home screen pretty much as it was doesn't rotate anything like that uh, yeah sadly there's just not there's not much to tell you about or show you it's it's just pretty much as it was. I do think the phone is a bit quicker as you look as you navigate round. It does seem to be a little bit quicker with the theme effects. Definitely a bit snappier, but at the end of the day, they haven't really done much with it, which is a real shame. I was wanting a nice, busy, home screen with with contacts, shortcuts, etc, etc, but no. Thanks for watching, I know there's not been much to show you, but rest assured as soon as there are any further firmware updates, you'll be the first to see them here on Nokia.